Our next guest is another beautiful bearded man. On Saturday night, he takes the stage at the Forum in Inglewood. Please say hello to Bert Kreischer. <laughs> You, you're Hi. having a big week, huh? <laughs> Started it with the with the roast of Tom Brady on Sunday. Dude. You got all this uh, Netflix comedy festival stuff going on this week. You end it with the, you end it or you go home after the big show this weekend? It's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. yeah it's I haven't Mother's planned Day. anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. You better get something together. I think about me first. Yeah. I think about me as much as humanitarians think about other people. <laughs> <laughs> You're a humanitarian, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How was that roast, by the way? Was that fun for you? Well, it's terrifying. It was terrifying? Well, it's terrifying because, first of all, it's a big dais. It's a big list. There's a bunch of murderers. Yeah. And it, uh, <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and uh, and Nikki destroyed. That's what she did. Kevin, Nikki Glazer, yeah. she. Yeah. Kevin killed. Jeff killed. Drew Bledsoe killed? That was a surprise, yeah. Who that saw that coming? That would have bothered me if I was there, yeah. Oh, and then Nikki destroys. Tommy looks at me. Tom's girl looks at me and goes, buddy, we're going to eat a d <laughs> <laughs> And Schultz is nervous. He's next to And we're like, it's an hour and a half into the roast. He's like, we're about to eat a d bad. And I looked at him like two dudes storming the beaches at Normandy. I go, buddy, if we die, we die together. We go to, and I gave him a kiss. And then we went up. And we did real well. It went great. Thank God we followed Kim Kardashian. That woman's a gangster. I'm Team Kim, okay? I'm Team. <laughs> they booed her top to bottom. I know they edited it out. It was kind of a stupid move, but and they edited else. They, you know what else they edited out? What? So we get done. Tom and I are shaking. We did great. Sam J is next, and she's like, "Yo, Bert, I'm lighting you up." And I'm like, "Okay, whatever." Oh, she gave you a heads up. She gave me a heads up. Okay. So and she did like five minutes on me, just destroying me. And one of the things she said, I know I told you this. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell it. Yeah, but... no, tell it. Tell it. You can tell it. Yeah. <laughs> So in run through, uh, I had uh, nicotine pouches, those little white nicotine pouches in a can in my pocket. And the director said, you can't put them in your pocket, it's distracting. So I was like, okay. So I put them in a little bag. And, and she started calling me a fake party animal that I don't even do drugs. I'm not even dead like all the good ones. I, I just have sex with my wife. <laughs> and I went into my pocket and I pulled out my nicotine patches and I just wiggled them. <laughs> and, it, and Schultz goes, you got a bag of blow on you? And, and, and the camera's on me in the forum, and the forum goes nuts. They're like, this dude brought coke. <laughs> Tommy's like, what? And then the camera goes off me, and I start going, eh. <laughs> Tom goes to the bathroom. He comes out, and he goes, you're about to go viral. You're, everyone's going to think you're a cokehead. <laughs> yeah. But they edited it out, thank God. <laughs> they did. Oh, I didn't want to have to deal with my daughters. I've been saying no pills, no powder forever. And then dad's rolling in with half an eight ball. Yeah, yeah, that's not great for the kids. <laughs> no. You, uh, you also went viral for a different reason, and that reason was because when, when Tony Hinchcliffe was on, you <laughs> from Kill Tony, you, he was talking about you, yeah. and you were, um, like, mouthing the teleprompter along with him. <laughs> it was yeah. so bad. Yeah. Look, you can put a monkey in a tux. It's still a monkey. <laughs> and I was... <laughs> Leanne was over to the side going, stop talking. And I'm like, I'm not talking. And then I go back to the prompter and I'd read everyone's jokes to myself going like. We have the, uh, I think we have a clip of that happening. Bert Kreischer is a king. He looks like if the Tiger King and the Liver King only ate Burger King and had a liver that looked like Martin Luther King got beat up by Rodney King. <laughs> You would not be a good ventriloquist. Bro, <laughs> that is me. That is everything you ever need to know about me. That is everything every teacher ever thought about me. That's what my dad thinks about me. That is what I wake up knowing I am. <laughs> I can't hide it, man. I'm an idiot. And then you did something that I think was seemed like, I don't know, it seemed like an odd thing to do during comedy week. You guys hosted, you and Tom Segura had a 5K. Yeah. For your, for your fans, for your listeners to your podcast. <laughs> We got to a place where, like, no one says no to us anymore. Uh-huh. So all our bad ideas just come to fruition. Whose idea was the 5K? Oh, they're all mine. Uh-huh. And we started, we put it out there. And we thought nothing will happen. Then Jelly Roll went on Nelk Boys and was like, you know, I'm doing Burt's 5K. 
And so Jelly Science, he's the biggest artist in the country. Yeah. All of a sudden, People Magazine picks it up. We're like, yo, we got to make a 5K. <laughs> Thank God, Netflix is a joke festival. Stepped up to the plate, them and Spartan Race, put on a 5K Tuesday morning, 8 a.m., loaded. We rented out the Rose Bowl. It was insane. <laughs> and so I ran it twice. I ran the first heat with the fans. I got hit by a golf cart. And then <laughs> I did. I got, I got hit by a, my assistant was driving. <laughs> and then I ran the second one with, with Jelly. I put a... 50 pound back on my back, pack on my back. And, Just to get a little extra, extra cardio going? Listen, man, he's the man. Uh -huh. and, and if Jelly says he's gonna do something, I'm gonna come, I'm, I'm the guy that shows up for him. And so I lost 50 pounds. So I put that 50 pounds back and walked with him and ah. Foley, And we had a great time. The best part, Jimmy, is that like, we planned our 5K, maybe a little unwisely, we planned it on a popular jogging path. <laughs> <laughs> so there was about 300 people that didn't know they entered a 5K. <laughs> They were just walking. There were these two Mexican women pushing their kids in strollers. They're just on their, their day, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, Jelly Roll! Oh, really? As if Jelly Roll's lost in Pasadena. <laughs> me, and, me, me and him coming back from a Coke binge. <laughs> Is it true that you, re you spoke at Harvard uh, like last month? Uh, yes, I did. You did. <laughs> How did it, that happen? Did they, they, well, of course, you've got a long history with college uh, in that you were in college for seven years. Dude, I'm, dude, I'm hot at college. You're hot at college. I, so, I party, right? I still uh -huh. party. And, and kids, I have this speech. Not what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> I have this speech that went viral about me never quitting drinking and why I drink. And, and the boys love it. So, like, I, I go to the University of Tennessee. I roll into a frat party at, like, 1 in the morning and... 2,000 kids, get on stage, take my shirt off, couple shots, in the bus, we're back on the road, right? I do it a lot. So I get a call from Harvard. They're like, yo, can you talk to us about marketing? <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, I guess. I was like, are you sure you know what you're getting? And they're like, no, 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 we know. And I was like, my shirt's coming off, you know that. <laughs> I mean, I opened my speech up with, <laughs> when I was 22 years old, I got involved with the Russian mafia, and they're like, what the? <laughs> and so I talked at Harvard. Uh, it was really like them, uh, taking a caveman out of ice uh -huh. and going, oh, how did you kill the woolly mammoth? <laughs> and so I told them all my marketing ideas, how I operate. They were creating I, uh, AI to think how my brain normally thinks. What? Oh, bro. Really? They were like, they were befuddled by me. They're like, so you're a high functioning alcoholic who's throwing a 5K, launched a vodka. You had a, what, you, why do you make these decisions? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and then I took my, I was like, took my shirt off, you know that. Uh -huh. All these baccalaureates are up getting pictures with me. And then I'm like, I go, you guys want to see something amazing? I go, watch this. Put out a tweet or a Instagram. Hey, Harvard, I'm on campus. I'm hitting up Grendel's. I'll see you there. I was like, guys, wait do you see what happens. Because I know what happens. Right. No one showed up. <laughs> no one showed up. Not one. These Harvard kids are not right. They're, there's something wrong with them. <laughs> two lesbians. Two lesbians on their first date showed up. They were on the bar, they were going, I love you, I love you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I was like, you guys, uh, you guys want to do a shot? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, uh, you guys want a picture? And they're like, nah. <laughs> I felt like OJ Simpson. They're like, we're good, we're good. Our parents see this. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I'm sure there'll be plenty of people at the forum. Bert is there on Saturday night. It's in Inglewood. And uh, Bert's specials are all on Netflix. Your roast of Tom Brady is on Netflix. It's all on Netflix. Bert Kreischer, everybody. Thanks, Bert. We'll be back with Andrew Day.